In this video, we will look at the data refresh features of Power BI. The reason why you need to do data refresh is that in case if your data underlying data is changing and you want to bring in the most recent up-to-date data so that you can make accurate analysis and make informed decisions. Without refreshing, uh, you will get outdated data so that uh, you will not be able to make any correct conclusions. And the reasons why you need to do is that to maintain data accuracy and you have to update so that you can do up-to-date analysis and you can track the data trends and you can take care of complaints and also error detections and so on. And first we will look at auto refresh a report page in Power BI Desktop if it is in direct query mode. Obviously in direct query mode, you don't need to do data refresh, but here um, this is a report page where it is auto refreshing every second and if we go to the data pane on the right and right click on a table and try to look at the options available others are grayed out except the schema obviously because this is a direct query mode and we can confirm it in case if we go to table view and this is in um, direct query mode perfect so uh, the other option is in case if you want to refresh your page, you can do that by enabling that page refresh option. And this page is being refreshed every second. So this way you can bring the most update data from say database or something. And the next method is we will try to see how to enable data refresh in Power BI Desktop if it is in import mode. As you can see, if you click on the table, right click, and you have those options there. And it is also available in the home ribbon. If you look for icon, refresh icon in home ribbon, you can click on it, manually refresh your data. That includes the semantic uh, model uh, schema and also the data. So if you click on the drop down button, you have those three options separately. So based on your needs, you can do it. And next is in Power Query Editor window also, you can refresh the data. And in the home ribbon, if you click on refresh preview, um, all the tables and queries will be refreshed together or individually also you can do that that way. And uh, the third method is in um, Power BI service. If you go to a workspace and look for a semantic model, you can manually refresh by clicking that icon. Or in case if you want to schedule refresh, you can do that. If you click on that icon, a new window will open up. And in that window, you have to make sure that your data source settings are correct and accurate and if you scroll down uh, and click on refresh based on your needs you can make all the adjustments there so this is how you can do data refresh in power bi and also in power bi service thanks for watching see you in the next video